Hi you guys, it's Haley, and today we're watching Shadow and Bone season one, episode three. This episode is called The Making at the Heart of the World, and I really enjoyed the first two episodes of this show, so I'm super excited to get more into it. If you guys want early and uncut reactions, I'll leave my Patreon down in the description. But besides that, let's just get right into it. I'm fine. Safe. In the little palace. It's like I blinked and the whole world changed. Have you ever bathed? What happened to your face? This is gonna take more work than I expected. I'd be terrified if that many people just walked into my room. It's a big tub. <laughs> I want a tub that big. Stop, stop, stop. I am perfectly capable of watching my friend be the king in an hour. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. So let's go. <laughs> I kind of like her already. <laughs> Respond by making her eyes and shoe. Said you have a contact who can get us inside. A heart reader. How do I know we can trust her? And even as a rabbit, the Fates Queen should, should get to choose a case of She despises involuntary service more than she does fear. <laughs> Abandon. We're in this now. The cross. I need twenty pounds of alabaster coal and uh, a goat. <laughs> now. Why do you like look at him? <laughs> Just the coal. No detours. <laughs> sure, he's gonna <been> detour. <laughs> They're gambling. Great. <laughs> but everything in the news is here. Oh. I, I've got some things I've forgotten back at the camp. I could just come back. Don't be ridiculous. This way. I don't like it. <laughs> Me too. Stop that. It's <laughs> easily talking in front of those. It's just as well. <laughs> Every server escaped. I think I'm making a break for it. I didn't mean to. We do not conjure from nothing. We manipulate that which already exists around us. You make it sound so easy. Okay. The bird makes flight look easy. Do you believe I brought you here to make a fool of you? <laughs> to make a fool of both of us? Just keep your focus on me, and you'll be fine. It's hard to take your focus off. <laughs> that veil like, does not. <laughs> look good with the rest of that outfit. It doesn't look good in general, but... I thought she'd be taller. I thought she was shoe. Well, I guess she's shoe enough. Turn her up. Oh, I don't know. Um, good morning. I don't actually speak shoe. This is so cool. 
Yeah, bravo, bravo. Go down. Jesper, though, do you guys need supplies from him? Are they supposed to be? To back down. I'm familiar with the concept. Mm -hmm. is ready. Your tribal friend also liked it when I put him on his back. Oh! Well, I think that's cheating. Isn't this supposed to be like hand-to-hand -hand combat? She wastes her time pining over him. And she could be like me. <laughs> no, Nadia, right? You can do better than that. I can try and request leave for you if you'd like to come. To see it all for yourself. I wish you were here. I'm dreaming about that stag again. I know you'd laugh. Tell me it's just a fable. Then again, so is the sun somewhere. Wow, look at all those books. I always want to spend so long in there. Like books. You are well read, aren't you? Educated. I wanted to be friends. Why is this so creepy? It's important that we are friends. No, it's really not. Research you. You're tuned only to Grisha. They learned killing one of these beasts and then melding a piece of it into their body with their survival ability. They slaughtered the animal. Only the Grisha who takes that life can take that creature's power. Bagra? Every Grisha is trained by Bagra to harness her power. She's quite a person. Let's have a look. Well, okay. I know we're going to punch your way through the shadow fell. I know we're going somewhere. Where is she? Where's the rest of you? Are you a mute girl? Oh, what's that mean? No. You don't belong here. Not always. Then what are you? You came to summon the sun without the 
the general clutching your wrist. His blood and bones amplify other Grisha. What about now? Yep. What was that? Believes that you are the one. Come back when you believe it too. I kind of like her. <laughs> like she's mean, but I kind of like it. I know I should be grateful. The clothes, the food, it's, it's beyond anything we've imagined. And yet I wish I were with, with the first army. With the first army. What was that? I have erected a system of timers along the line. It's a level hung on poles to keep me at the highest pace with the tracks. I'm not complete. I'm oh, I'm sorry. Did you say the tracks weren't complete? I said they aren't complete. It was what? what? Uh, uh, no moving. There's no trick. No crap. It's the only way it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here eating pigs? Hmm? You should be training every waking moment to tear down the fort. She's not in charge of her schedule. How do you fight them off? I outrun them. Open the throttle and toss it all the coal, which works. You know, there's plenty of CG shot there. We knew that no stranger ever solved our problems for us. No great miracle was coming. It's why we had each other. Everyone is looking at me like I'm the answer. Like I'm the miracle the world has been waiting for. Or perhaps I know I'm a fraud. If I really do have this power, who am I? I will be everything we mocked and dismissed. A stranger to myself. Mm -hmm. And to you. You told me about Cardinal North and True North. Cardinal North is a direction on a map. True North? True North is home. I've always been my True North. Oh. Oh, wow, that's cute. <laughs> if I am to survive this, I need to be home again. Wow, wow, okay. Okay, so that was season one, episode three of Shadow and Bone. And I'm really liking the lore or whatever you want to call it, the concept behind the, the magic or the summoning powers they use. I really like that. I think it's super interesting. And I really, really, really want to learn more about it and how it all works, how people summon them, how people control it. General Kiergan was saying something along the lines of their power doesn't come from magic, it comes from like their surroundings, which makes sense that it seems like they all have kind of like the elements as powers. I really don't know the right word to use for that. I felt really bad for Alina in this episode. Like everybody's forcing her to be there. She is being honest with everyone. She's telling everyone she doesn't know what the hell she's doing, but then everyone's still getting mad at her for being there, for not knowing what to do. And I'm like, what, what, like, what are you expecting from her? And it's also not like this is even something that's been done in the past. This is so theoretical, right? So why are you expecting her to know everything if you've never seen anybody like her before? You don't know what she can and can't do yet, right? So I feel like every, I feel like everyone just needs to back up give her some time it's been like half a day i don't know what they're all expecting from her i do really like the taylor that we met in the beginning i don't recall what her name was i don't even know if she said it i did like her she was pretty funny she was really honest and i can see them becoming like good friends i'm really enjoying this show so far i'm super excited to get more into it anyways i think that's all i have to say about this episode if you guys want early and uncut reactions i'll leave my patreon down in the description and if you guys enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe and i'll see you guys next time